In this presentation, I will teach you three types of essential oils that you can use to boost your immune system and prevent illnesses. Oils can be used differently, and today we will give you a few recommendations on how to use them. That said, do not place the pure oil directly on the skin as it can irritate it. If you want to apply it on the skin, it is better to mix it with a base oil like jojoba or grapeseed oil. The three oils that we will explore today are lavender, eucalyptus, and tea tree oils. Lavender Lavender is a very gentle oil but very powerful at the same time. You can use it in a diffuser to help kill allergens in the air and bring a fresh scent to your home. It will also help you relax. It is a known fact that stress is a significant factor in disturbing our immune system health. Sleep is also essential to fight off infection and illnesses. Place a drop of lavender oil on your pillow to improve your sleep. Finally, lavender is a powerful oil in which antioxidants help the body protect the cells from toxins. Eucalyptus Eucalyptus is known to help to fight the common cold and respiratory issues. You can use it in a diffuser to help clear the breathing airways, or you can also add a couple of drops to your bath water. This oil is also a great antibacterial, antiviral, and antiseptic. Eucalyptus oil is also known to stimulate the immune system. Although, like many oils, you have to be careful about how to use them. In this case, Eucalyptus oil is not recommended for infants and pregnant women. Tea tree Tea tree is a great oil that does so many things. It's an antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. There are different ways to use this oil. For example, you can place it directly on a wound to avoid infection, but make sure to mix it with a base oil before applying it. It is also an excellent oil for house cleaning. Mix it with baking soda and sprinkle on your carpet. Leave it on for a few minutes and then vacuum to remove allergens. Essential oils are a wonderful addition to your immune system. Always make sure to research the oil that you will utilize to ensure its safe use. Three Mistakes That Gets You Sick In this tutorial, I will teach you three mistakes that most people do which makes them sick. I will also provide you ways that you can change and adopt better habits that will prevent an illness and increase your immunity. Mistake number one. Don't drink enough water. Did you know that 75% of people are dehydrated consistently? That is probably one of the main reasons why most of us get sick or don't recover fast from illnesses. Water is critical to flush any toxins from our body. If we don't have enough water, we can't get rid of the toxins fast enough. Toxins can be in the form of viruses or bacteria. Drinking plenty of water can fight off infection. You can start increasing your water consumption by always having a bottle with you that you can refill. It is recommended to get around 2 to 3 liters of water per day. Mistake number 2. Don't get enough fruits and vegetables. The key to not getting sick is eating a nutrient and antioxidant-rich diet. That would mean a diet that includes vitamin E, vitamin D, and selenium. These are rarely found in processed foods unless enriched and your body has more chances of absorbing what is needed when you eat fresh whole foods. That said, you need to start to increase your daily intake of fruits and vegetables. Leafy greens, nuts, citrus fruits are all excellent choices of foods that are high in nutrients and antioxidants that are known to boost your immune system. Mistake number three. Don't pay attention to sanitation. The flu season is often worsening because people don't pay attention to what they touch. We have a tendency not to wash our hands often enough. Start paying attention to hand sanitization and at the same time, why not clean your home every week? That way, you reduce the presence of allergens, which are also connected to weakening our immune system. If you start implementing the suggestions above, you will have a more reliable immune system in no time. Also. You're putting all the chances on your side to stay healthy, 
especially if you are approaching the flu season. Three steps to boosting your immune system. Your immune system is your number one defense mechanism against intruders like bacteria or viruses that can make you very ill. It is imperative to make sure that we stay healthy and put all the chances on our side to boost our immune system. Here are three steps to help you do so starting today. Step 1. Eating well. Eating well means getting many fruits and vegetables in your system and stay hydrated. Enough that you get many nutrients and antioxidants to help strengthen your immune system. You will specifically want to keep on top of your selenium, vitamin E, and vitamin C intake. Selenium is found in nuts, like Brazil nuts or fish. As for vitamin E, you can get it in spinach, seeds, and peanuts. Vitamin C can be found in many vegetables, like broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, or sweet potatoes. As for water, drinking plenty of it will help your body flush the toxins like bacteria that could cause sickness. Step 2. Keeping it clean. Getting in the habit of washing your hands before every meal or before touching your face will help your immune system a lot. That way, your body won't have to interact with the bacteria or virus in the first place. You can also keep your home clean and change the air filters regularly to reduce allergens in your home that can harm your respiratory system. Step 3. Sleeping Routine To ensure that your immune system is functioning optimally, you need to make sure that you get adequate sleep. Since sleep is critical to our immune system, it is recommended to get between 7 and 8 hours of sleep per night. That number of hours is adequate and regenerate the body. Having plenty of sleep will increase the ability of the body's white cells to fight illnesses and reduce symptoms connected to the common cold and flu. To get a good rest, try to implement a bedtime routine that allows you to get your hours of sleep. Going to bed at the same time every day will become a routine and your body will naturally get tired at that time. Besides, try limiting your screen time many hours before bedtime since it tends to disrupt your sleep. Try implementing those three steps today to boost your immune system so that it is ready to fight illnesses. Three things people with a strong immune system do. In this presentation, you will learn three things that people with a robust immune system do daily. If you start applying these things today, you can expect your immune system to be better prepared to fight off illnesses. Here's what people with a strong immune system do. They get enough sleep. People with a healthy immune system sleep between 7 and 9 hours per night. Unfortunately, more than one person out of three does not get adequate sleep. Sleep is vital to produce cytokines, which is a protein that reduces infection in the body. If you don't get enough sleep, your immune system can't function optimally. People who have a reliable immune system have implemented a daily sleep routine where they go to bed at a specific time and usually relax an hour before bed without screen time or activities that tends to reset the brain. They get enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is typically provided by sunlight, although it can be difficult for most people to get enough vitamin D during the winter. According to research, one person out of two is vitamin D deficient. A deficiency in vitamin D means that you increase your chances of getting an autoimmune disease. To prevent this from happening, you can either make an effort to get more sun exposure while protecting your skin, take a daily supplement, or add fatty fish like tuna, mackerel, or salmon to your diet. They get enough relaxation. Stress is a major cause of illnesses. One person out of three reports feeling very stressed daily. Mental tension tends to put us at risk of activating harmful viruses that may be in our system. People with a healthy immune system have learned to tame the stress in their life. They have learned a way to change their perspective to be less reactive about various situations that may arise. If you're interested in doing so, you might want to look into mindfulness practices or daily meditation. Those two approaches are known to reduce stress and bring inner peace, 
even while life gets chaotic. By applying these three things that people with a robust immune system do, you increase your immune system ability to fight diseases caused by viruses or bacteria. You can adapt your lifestyle to make sure you get enough sleep, more sun, and more time to relax. Three things you can do now to strengthen your immune system. In this tutorial, I will teach you three things that you can do now to strengthen your immune system. Strengthening your immune system means that your body is better prepared to fight off illnesses mostly caused by bacteria or viruses. Here are three things you can start today. Increase antioxidants intake. Your body naturally produces antioxidants to defend itself. Antioxidants are also present in the food that you eat. Antioxidants are molecules that can help fight compounds. Compounds, also known as free radicals, can cause harm to your body and generate illnesses. Foods that are rich in antioxidants include fruits, vegetables, but even vitamin C and vitamin E. Starting today, you can add carrots, spinach, and broccoli to your meals to help increase your antioxidant intake. For dessert, have berries or watermelon. Both are high in antioxidants. Prioritize sleeping. Sleep is critical to ensure a healthy immune system that is always ready to fight any bacteria and viruses. The recommended sleep hours are 7 to 9 hours per night to rest and regenerate the body adequately. Having plenty of sleep will increase the ability of the body's white cells to fight illnesses and reduce symptoms connected with the common cold and flu. To get a good rest, try to implement a bedtime routine that allows you to get your 7 to 9 hours of sleeping. Going to bed at the same time every night will become a routine, and your body will naturally get tired at that time. Besides, try limiting your screen time before bed and cut your intake of caffeine and alcohol many hours before bedtime since they tend to hinder your sleep. Adopt a positive attitude. According to studies across the world, positivism is a trait that increases your health and reduces your chances of being sick from a virus. Not only is the immune system of optimistic people more robust, but they also show signs of being healthier in general. Whatever happens around you, you always have a choice of how you respond to that situation. You either see it with a half-full glass or half-empty glass. An excellent way to start improving your attitude is to focus on gratitude. Finding things that you are grateful for will help you see the best in everything. Don't wait. You can strengthen your immune system with these three suggestions. Four Secrets to a Strong Immune System In this presentation, you will learn four secrets that will help you build a more robust immune system. During certain times of the year, it is essential to be mindful of your diet and consider adding these four secrets to your daily regimen. The four secrets for a reliable immune system are to increase your intake of selenium, vitamin E, vitamin C, and water. Selenium Not only is selenium a powerful antioxidant, but it also plays a vital role in our immune system. It is one of the essential minerals for our health. According to studies, viruses seem to thrive in an environment that is deficient in selenium and vitamin E. Selenium will enhance the immune system while reducing inflammation. It can be found in fish, seafood, higher in selenium if raised in its natural habitat, but also nuts, like Brazil nuts. The selenium recommendation per day is 55 micrograms a day for an adult. Vitamin E Vitamin E is also a potent antioxidant like selenium. It can help fight any infection in the body since it enhances the immune system. A daily dose of 15 mg a day is what is recommended by the experts, and it is especially important as you age. You can find vitamin E in spinach, seeds, sunflower seeds, and peanuts. Vitamin C Vitamin C is critical to the immune system. Not only does it support the production of antibodies, but it also supports the activity of natural killer cells, NK cells. 
NK cells are a type of white blood cell which is important to the immune system. Vitamin C consummation recommendation is 75 to 90 milligrams a day. It can also be found in many vegetables and fruits, such as cauliflower, oranges, tomatoes, broccoli, peppers, and sweet potatoes. Water. Drinking water and staying hydrated can have a significant impact on your immune system. Not only does it help eliminate toxins from the body, but it also removes bacteria that could eventually cause sickness. Drinking plenty of water can help you maintain your healthy immune system, but can also help you fight a cold or flu. The more you hydrate your body, the more likely you are to kick out the bacteria or eliminate the virus that is disrupting your metabolism. Consider applying these four secrets and you will likely have a year with no sickness or a very mild cold if you catch it. 5 Ways to Get Rid of Toxins and Boost Your Immune System In this presentation, I will teach you 5 things you can do to detoxify your body and improve your immunity. It is possible to help the body strengthen its immune system by ridding it of toxins. Toxins can cause the body not to function optimally. Here are five ways to get rid of toxins. Drink plenty of fluids. Water is essential in the process of detoxification. It helps flush all toxins that may affect your immune system. Studies associate hydration with optimal detoxification that helps the body get rid of harmful chemicals and environmental toxins. Quit alcohol. Alcohol is usually very high in sugar. Not many people realize the amount of sugar intake that comes with consuming alcohol. Besides, it can affect your gut, which is very important for the immune system, and your liver. Its role is to detoxify the body. Reduce your sugar. Research published in the Journal of Food and Addiction indicates that sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Sugar has a significant impact on your metabolism and it can cause a chronic disease which, in turn, puts you more at risk of getting sick from a virus. Cut the processed food. Anything that comes in a box, in the freezer section of the store or a can, should be avoided. Unless you are 100% sure that there is no sugar or salt added to the food, change your diet to be mostly whole food. By doing so, you can be sure that you are not eating something factory-made or processed, which causes a lot of inflammation of the body and disturbs its metabolism. Lower your stress. Lower your stress by turning off the media and adopt stress-free activities. It could be meditating, journaling, exercising, or even reading. Exercising is an excellent option because it helps the body's metabolism and allows us to operate more optimally. Not only can you detoxify your mind with less stress, but you will also cleanse your body. By adopting these five recommendations for the next 10 days, you will help your body detoxify. In return, the cleanse will increase your immune system and reduce your chances of getting sick. In addition, try to make them habits since you will feel better in your body and have more energy to do the things you love. In this presentation, I will teach you how you can invigorate your immune system to fight off illness. You can do so by choosing a healthier lifestyle. Many aspects of our life could be improved to increase our ability to fight off bacteria and viruses. Here are a few suggestions you can implement in your daily life. Eat a plant-based diet. Increasing the number of vegetables and fruits that you eat daily will help you improve your nutrient and antioxidant intake. Nutrients like vitamin E and vitamin C and antioxidants like selenium are known to help strengthen the immune system. Avoid smoking. Smoking puts you at higher susceptibility to lung infections like pneumonia. To increase the efficiency of your immune system, you should avoid smoking at all costs. Reduce your alcohol intake. Alcohol affects the microbes that live in our digestive tract and help us fight bacteria. When you drink, you decrease your immune system's ability to fight off the harmful bacteria and put yourself at more risk of getting sick. Ensure you get enough sleep. 
Sleep is critical to ensure that you are keeping your immune systems reliable and ready to activate when needed. Without sleep, your immunity is not optimal and increases your chances of illness. Practice safe sanitation and cleaning. You can prevent a lot of sickness by washing your hands, avoid touching your face, and keep your home clean. Cleaning your home reduces the allergens and other microbes that can impact your respiratory system negatively. Exercise regularly. Exercising will keep your body active and optimal so that when you are potentially in contact with a virus or a bacteria, it has more chances of fighting it because it is healthy. Reduce stressors. It is a known fact that stress puts us at risk of becoming ill. Learn to manage your tension by adopting a new perspective on life. You can practice mindfulness, which is the ability to stay in the present moment and stop worrying about the past or the future. Less mental stress also means less physical stress and gives more power to your immune system. By applying the suggestions above, you increase your body's ability to fight disease and reinvigorate your immune system so that it is ready when needed. Staying healthy will likely keep you away from the negative impact of any bacteria or virus, even if you are in contact with them. In this tutorial, I will teach you how you can supercharge your immune system. Having a robust immune system is extremely important to fight diseases and viruses. Here are a few suggestions to get you started. Sleep. Sleeping is, by far, one of the best remedies to help the immune system fight off any disruptive bug in your body. Sleep is crucial for the body's production of cytokines. Cytokine is a protein that reduces inflammation and infection in the body. The recommendation is 8 hours of sleep every night. If some days you are unable to get the recommended dose of sleep, try to do one or two naps of 30 minutes during the day. Exercise. Based on recent research, exercising can be beneficial to the immune system as we age. According to studies, daily activity can strengthen the immune system across the lifespan. Another interesting find is that not only does frequent exercise boost our immunity, it also seems to delay its aging, allowing us to maintain an optimal immune system as we grow older. Daily exercise can be as simple as a 20 to 30 minute walk. Manage your stress. When we experience stress, we harm our body's ability to fight antigens with antibodies. Daily stress and stressful situations can be very detrimental to our immune system. You can find ways to manage your stress by including a meditation routine or be more mindful throughout your day. The more stress reduction activities you can bring into your life, the stronger your immune system will become. Eat well. We cannot ignore the importance of a healthy diet to strengthen our immune system. A diet that is rich in vitamin E and vitamin C, zinc, and selenium is most likely going to help you boost your immunity. Also, keep your body hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Staying hydrated will help your body flush out the toxins and naturally eliminate bacteria that can cause illness. It is vital to choose a healthy lifestyle to maintain a healthy and happy body. By increasing your sleep, exercising, managing your stress, and eating well, you put all the chances on your side to fight any illness. The healthier you are, the more protected you will be against viruses and harmful bacteria. Try to maintain these habits year-long to be ready for the flu season. In this presentation, you will learn what secret foods that you can add to your nutrition to fortify your body. It is essential to select ingredients that provide an intake of selenium, vitamin E, and vitamin C. Here are examples of foods you will want to eat. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are at the top of our list because it is one of the most reliable sources of selenium. Just one nut can provide up to 96 micrograms, which is already above the daily recommendation. The daily intake recommendation is 55 micrograms of selenium for an adult. Selenium is a powerful antioxidant and is one of the essential minerals for our health and immunity. Fish 
Tuna is also a great source of selenium. One ounce of tuna can provide around 30 micrograms of selenium. Other fish and seafood are usually between 12 micrograms and 20 micrograms of selenium per ounce. Lentils. If you eat a vegan or vegetarian diet, lentils are a great substitute to fish. One cup of lentils can provide around 6 micrograms of selenium. They are also a good source of fiber and protein. Citrus fruits. Most people are aware that citrus fruits are full of vitamin C. Vitamin C is critical to the immune system. Its consummation recommendation is 75 milligrams to 90 milligrams a day. Just add sliced lemon to your water, which will provide around 50% of the daily intake. You can also eat grapefruit or orange with your breakfast. This will be the other half of your consumption for the day. Spinach. Spinach is a significant source of vitamin C, but also contains vitamin E. It is essential to keep it raw to ensure that you get all the nutrients from it. You can add it to a salad or a sandwich. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are very high in vitamin E. One ounce can provide 76% of your daily intake, which is set at 15 milligrams. Vitamin E is also a potent antioxidant like selenium, which help fight infections since it enhances the immune system. The foods recommended above are ingredients that you can add to your meals, especially when you approach the flu season. Feel free to make a salad with spinach, add some lentils and sunflower seeds. You could also make a homemade citrus dressing for it. Only add orange juice to olive oil.